is good everybody thank you for tuning in to watch another video today we are going to kind of wrap up the duo of videos and do a review on the brand new belroy folio mini wallet or case i'm not going to go as far as to say this is a, a card holder this is more of your traditional wallet if you caught my last video i did do a review on the belroy flip case and i wasn't so hot on this one this obviously is a card holder so kind of a different demographic, though they kind of hold the same footprint, same size. And the main reasoning behind me not really being so hot on this one is because Belroy claimed that it held up to a certain amount of items, uh, cards and bills. And I felt it kind of under delivered there and fell short of their claims. So seeing as I'm a big Belroy fan, I really am keeping my fingers crossed that the Folio Mini holds up to what Belroy claims with this one. And without wasting any more time, let's just jump right into it and see if the uh, brand new Belroy Folio Mini is the wallet for you. All right, we got that open. Let's take a look. So we'll toss this off to the side. And we'll compare here, literally the exact same presentation, just a, a larger box for the flip case here. And this is for the Folio Mini. And just like the flip case, we have the accent color for the sticker, depending upon the color you got. Again, I got the green. We'll compare the back of the boxes here. But again, I really don't really see the need to focus on this too much. I'm assuming it's gonna be exactly the same. We'll open it up. Again, so the issue that I had um, was the claim with the flip case. Uh, Belroy had claimed up to eight cards and folded bills. I had found that it held much less than that. Seeing that this is a folio more along the lines of your traditional wallet, I'm assuming their claim of up to 10 cards and folded bills and coins, probably gonna be able to handle that much better as the flip case was strictly a card holder. So pop this bad boy out and take a look at it. So again, I got the green. The leather on this is gonna be very similar to the folios you would purchase uh, from them for your A5, A4, or your passport. So I do have them with me for my passport and for the A4. Again, I feel that the leather here, I'll grab the flip case. As I had said, the, the leather here seems a little bit thin and being that this is on a you know polycarbonate frame and outer this was kind of just like plastered on this feels a little bit more robust i do like it it's very similar like i said to these here and we'll do a little comparison in terms of sizing for everybody again seeing as this is more of a traditional wallet it makes sense that it's going to be a little bit wider a little bit bigger but fits really nice in the palm of the hand and uh just for comparison here's the flip case not vastly different, which is nice. This has great pocketability and form factor. Throw this to the side. I'll throw a link up if people didn't see the review to this. Okay, so let's take a little bit of a deeper dive and take a look and see how the uh, Folio Mini stacks up and uh, looks. Right off the jump, uh, as I had prefaced there, leather feels a little bit more robust. Um, from the beginning of using Bellroy products, people like the idea of patina, which is kind of the wearing down of a leather and showing age. Sometimes I'm not the biggest fan of that, but in comparison, I feel this is gonna be a little bit better in terms of holding up. We have the little leather uh, zip tie here that holds and, and zips everything up. No external pockets or anything like that. The only difference here we have is this little Bellroy owl emblem in metal here. I kind of like that. A little bit better as a, as a feature versus just the Im imprint of the Belroy name. So I do like that added little touch there. It gives it a little bit of a personality and differentiates it from other lines. So let's just open it up and see what we got going on inside. All right, nothing crazy. Looks like we have two compartments. One here with a Belroy logo. One compartment on this side. Another compartment on this side of pretty much similar space. And then a magnetic intersection that I'm assuming would be that, as you can see here, closes up. I'm assuming that's probably gonna be for your loose coins or things. Um, other than that, that's, uh, pull this card out, pretty much it. So let's see what it says here. The heart of a full-size folio and the pocket-friendly zip wallet. Okay, so again, up to 10 cards, uh, magnetic coin section and RFID protected. So again, RFID protected. And yeah, so as I figured, this is your magnetic coin section. 
put this to the side here. So realistically, very simple wallet, more towards your traditional wallet if that's what you're looking for. Ample space, I have no, no disbelief that it holds what it says on this one. And nothing like the card holder, how the card holder has like a soft felt material. Um, this one is just strictly looks like just like a nylon, which isn't a huge deal. You don't need your credit cards to be draped in satin or anything, but nothing crazy going on. You know what? Let's see in terms of space. Let's see if this mini folio actually even holds the flip case. So see how much space. There we go. Fits in. It's going to be a tight close. Not that you would ever do this, but just to give a idea of how much space we're working with zips up totally in it can hold the actual flip case in the mini folio so again i i really don't foresee it being an issue fitting any of the cards in but let's give it a shot all right we're going to open this up my cards here pull these here we'll throw this in top there all right so let's see what we got going on nine cards so let's throw all the cards, not a problem. So do I even need to fold bills? Probably not because we still have ample space with nine cards mixed with embossed flush cards. And in terms of bills, you probably have to fold them in half. But you know what? Let me just go grab some bills. I'll go grab some cash and I'll be right back and we'll see. Let's pack this up see how much this can hold just for fun not that anybody would do this but i think people will be pleasantly surprised with this one sec here all right so i am back let's see so as of right now like i said we have about nine cards in the wallet without any issues you can see there's tons of space left i'm sure i could fit five to six more just on that one side uh i have some coins i have some cash here Let's see. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 bills here. So 11 bills. Let's fold it in half. Cause I'm assuming folding your bills in half is going to be the way you're going to want to put this in. Let's put them in. All right. No problem again. And I don't know how else you'd want to put those bills in. Either way, hamburger fold. Let's throw some coins in here. Let's see what we got going on. And um, let's crack this magnetic section open. Throw some coins in. So we got one. That's all right. So this is not going to be a huge deal. But being this is a magnet, it does kind of st stick your coins there. So you're going to have to really make sure because they do stick so is that a huge deal probably not but a little r d maybe in the next round it's it is gonna hold on but hey that works i mean you don't want your coins to fall out so what do we got in there so far one two three four five six seven eight <laughs> eight nine ten eleven let's just load it up and see eleven 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right, we got 17. I think we got the point here, guys. Let's zip it up. No problem. You know, when I put the flip case in here, clearly it was a little bit stretched, a little bit too tight, but there's going to be no issues holding whatever you want in here. I've got quite a bit. I think I said I said nine or 10 bills, nine cards. Tons of coins, not that anybody's going to be carrying all this stuff these days. In terms of its footprint of this thing, it's not that much bigger. But now, you know, when it's packed full, you're seeing the difference in terms of the width. Just to give you an idea of what this little guy is capable of holding, clearly not an issue packing this thing full and again that was my issue with the flip case i i really enjoyed aesthetically what the flip case brought to the table but the claims of what it held i think fell short and again this is what i mean the claim for this it definitely holds more than 10 cards folded bills coins no problem and you know it under promises and over delivers whereas the flip case 
I felt over promised and under delivered in what it was able to do and hold. These are two different items for two different subsets of people, I guess. People that hold card holders aren't interested in holding coins and people that still want to hold more of a traditional wallet may not be interested. So I think this is a great hybrid between the two. It's not necessarily like a card holder, but like for the sacred, which I brought into the last video, this is a card holder, but it gives you the option of holding in different sections, other items. This again, great form factor, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, but it gives you the option. It's more flexible, more versatile, and it over delivers on its claims. And I don't think anybody's gonna be packing their wallet full of tons of coins like this or all these cards, but the fact that you're able to, if you need to, I think that's what any product is all about. You wanna make sure that what you're providing for people gives them the option to meet their needs, even if they don't need it, without being cumbersome, without being a hassle. And I think the mini folio definitely, definitely gives that. All right, everybody, there you have it. I'm very happy to see the Folio Mini not only met its promise, but it over delivered on that promise. That is something that's not necessarily something that we should expect, but it's always nice to see a product that actually gives you more than it claims. Again, this is targeting a different subset of people being more of a traditional wallet, but the footprint and you know form factor are both you know fit in the palm of the hand and very similar in that way, even though that's a card holder. And if I had to, if somebody needed a Bellroy wallet and they were kind of considering between the two without hesitation, this is the one you go with. Better materials, I'm not saying the leather on the flip case is bad leather, but it's just thin. And, and though people like the patina, it, it, I, I do believe this would probably show, uh, still show that over time, but it's just a little bit more robust and thick and very similar to what you'd find on the traditional folios on their website. It's really a really great buy. It's even a little bit cheaper. Without hesitation, guys, if you're dis deciding or considering between if you want the flip case or the new folio mini, this one will meet your needs will hold various things. You're not gonna have any issues if you need to pack it full. If you want a light day, this is gonna be able to get you where you need to go. So with that, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and, and leads you guys in a direction and helps you make a decision. Thank you for all the comments and, uh, and all the interaction, really appreciate it. So be safe, be well, and until the next one, guys, take it easy.